Hello, Geminis. This is your X reading for the 10th through the 16th. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, let's see what your relationship was like in the past, okay? I think it was like very exciting, you know, when you guys first got together. Um, throughout the relationship, I don't feel like it grew to the potential um, of getting married, though. I feel like it was mostly fun for you. It was exciting for you. You like to go places. You like to do things. Um, you didn't really want it to have this air of seriousness, you know. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see how you view this relationship. You just wanted to be lighthearted. You wanted to be open and honest. Um, but you didn't really want a, a, a real emotional connection, I don't think. I think you wanted to be in charge. Um, I think, you know, you wanted it to... You wanted to be more of an intellectual connection here. I don't think emotions were like at the forefront, like really showing emotion. You know, you're fine just having good conversation and um, going places, doing things, having sex. You know, I think that was like really what was important to you. Let's see how your ex viewed the relationship. <laughs> I think your ex wanted it to be more serious because she's got her sword race to all of this like lighthearted. Not that she didn't like to have fun, but and I'm saying she because this is a queen, but you know, the roles can be reversed. This could very well be a feminine energy. A, a, like a female and this could be a male but um i think your ex wanted more your ex wanted more than just um you know having fun going places and you know just having conversation they wanted more and i think that they were trying to enforce that let's see what your current situation is now you guys are a couple and your ex probably has air in their chart as well. Let's see. Current situation. Uh, you're in a state of confusion here. Um, I think, you know, maybe you guys have some options. But I think this is more you guys not really know what's, knowing what's going on currently with your person, with your ex. Okay. You may be going through um, some emotional ups and downs right now. Let's see. Hmm. All right. So that flipped out. The Ten of Pentacles. Um, I think this person is just probably a single parent. Um, and they're just like working on, you know, just the stability within their home, building their legacy, getting their money up because you know they're not with you anymore so it's like this is something that they're really focused on right now is you know building a strong foundation right now with themselves i feel i don't necessarily feel like they are in a relationship they could be but i i really don't feel like this is you know a relationship i think this is more so about um, their own stability, their own, you know, family, relational family here. Let's see how you perceive your ex. How you look at them. Hot. Attractive. Probably flip at the mouth. <laughs> you know, um, probably, you know, when they get fired up, they get fired up. Um, we have fire and air here. So this person probably... You know, they're calm, and, they're calm, cool, and collected usually, but when they get upset, they get upset and you know it, okay? And they don't hold back. 
I think that th this queen right here will let you have it, okay? Um, especially if they embody this energy with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. This is somebody that, you know, it's like, don't push me because I'm nice, but, you know, I can get nasty. That This is what I'm feeling. Um, but this queen also takes care of people. She does things for people. Um, not financial things, but she's there. If you need her, it's like all you have to do is make a call. Um, she does everything. And a lot of times she will put herself on the back burner as well in order to be able to be there for people. Okay. Let's see how your ex views you. Hmm. I think they view you as you made a choice between them and someone else. Um, I, I get the strong feeling that they feel like you chose someone else over them. Okay. Um, they loved, they loved you. You guys probably share a very strong connection, very sensual connection here. But I get the feeling that they feel like maybe you guys um, also chose like your family or your maybe your ex-wife or ex-husband over them. Maybe you guys came out of, of a marriage with someone else. But I'm getting the feeling that they strongly feel like, um, you know, you chose someone else over them. Okay. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. It's what you want, I feel. I feel like you want to, you want that loving feeling back. You want to, you, you want this back. I'm just getting that strongly. I feel like you guys, you feel that you are meant to be together here. That this is like where you belong. Like regardless if you walk away or you guys separate, that you always end up back together is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> How your ex feels about getting back together. They are not sure about you. Um, they're very guarded. I feel like they love you. But I don't think that they feel like it's a good idea for you guys to be together. Um, they're hurt because they're guarding their heart. They're guarding their heart. They strongly feel like you chose somebody over them. Okay. Let's see what you can do that could possibly fix this. Tell them how you feel. If you didn't, if they feel like you left them for somebody else, let them know that you didn't. Let them know that maybe things just weren't, you guys weren't getting along. It wasn't, you know, working out at the time and you just needed some space. Be honest here, okay? And let's see what they can do. What can they do? Hmm. I feel like they need to stand their ground, actually. And not, you know, like be stubborn or anything but i think they need to be still and just listen because the emperor doesn't move you know i think they need to listen i think they need to take into account you know the situation at the time um 
and just, you know, work things out. Not necessarily in a relationship, but like smooth things over with you. Reconcile your differences here is what I'm getting. Let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys. Hmm. I think this could work. I think this could definitely work. I think that you guys could have something that is very long term, very committed, possibly even um, could lead to marriage here because here you are a couple. Hmm. But I think that, you know, somebody's going to have to really decide that this is what they want and go for it here. And potentially, this is what's going to happen. Okay? It may be like a year from now. But I feel like, you know, this is what's going to happen. Because this reading is like between the 10th and the 16th. This could happen in this upcoming week. But I feel like, you know, this is probably going to take a little time here. But this is a situation that's going on currently, okay, between you guys here. Definitely, definitely possible. That's a, that's a good sign, you guys. And look, as I put the deck down, I'm looking at my laptop right there. Look, somebody is anxious to say something here. Very anxious to say something here. Wants to speak the truth, okay? Let's pull a Romance Angels card for you guys to close out your reading. See what the... Romance Angels has to say. Flirt. Look at that. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. There you have it. Alright. So my Gemini friends. That's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.